Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I uh, see with, with Rita not having any farming to do, she volunteered to help Paulette do some, uh, some cooking, which is good to see because I think we just ran out of power. What was that? <laughs> he just had a temporary blackout. Uh, I think Dawn happened and the game had to recalculate something. But I think Paulette may be heading home next. Rita is capable of cooking, not as good as Paulette, but she can do it, and she's interested. So, in fact, that was kind of the debate at the very beginning of the series, if you remember, whether or not to have Rita do the cooking because she was interested, and Paulette do the uh, the research. That's right, she was going to be the researcher, and Simon was going to be the crafter, because he was most interested in that, and interesting, <laughs> I see Carter carrying a miniature version of his favorite chair. <laughs> that was interesting to see. There we go. And threw this log out of the way. What was that? There was a torch above it, maybe. Uh, maybe there was. I'm not real sure. Huh. Okay. Anyway, Rita is going to help Paulette get caught up. And we are still running these batteries out faster than we can uh, than we can store it. Just constantly cycling on and off there because I've got these up and going again. 200, 200 power for that system to, to operate. Um, Simon is going to go get some more berries. Okay, good. I don't remember if I signed that to him or not. Maybe I did last time. Yeah, I think I did. Look at that. A bunch of Pankoff swarming. Kind of like vultures. Yeah. What's uh, insufficient storage space? No, I don't see any particular carcass in here. Just a few bugs. Maybe that's enough. Um, yeah, let's... Insufficient storage space. And this popped in right before I turned on the... Uh, um, the recording. We have got a pregnant Olfen right here. So she is pregnant and he is petting her and getting her to roll over. <laughs> I don't know what to do to get a third animal bed in. This will not copy anywhere in here because the terrain is bad. Although I can't get into here Oh, I suppose that's possible. We don't have to have the fence behind it. It's not acting like it's going to... Uh, oh. I mean, it'll almost let me build... Right there over the fence line. Is that a thing? Apparently that is a thing. It doesn't seem to be kicking the fence out. Interesting. So we could do something like that. Um, right up into them. So first one is there. Then we could pull the fence line out. They can't walk around it. We have to lose our berries, it looks like. And then just... Yeah. Click. Okay. So... Out of curiosity, will an animal bed just drop into here? Oh, it will. Okay. Well, we'll leave the berries in there and see what happens. Okay. And we'll leave the fence line in there. Animal bed is indoors. It's off by a space, but that's fine. Okay. Well, we'll go that route then. I was going to have to figure out how to get all of this moved out of here. And that was going to be quite the, uh, quite the, the puzzle. Keep them in here without putting in a fence to take all this out to put the structure in and yeah anyway because I noticed that these guys interact with each other uh, it makes the walls disappear so you can't just you know set it next to it everything in between goes away so suddenly there's no more fence line whereas this is a fence line so okay I think that will work out fine anyway what is insufficient we are out of room for foods. Okay. Those are some pretty important foods. Um, 
Could we use up foods fast enough? There is that possibility. We could kick berries out. Send them over here. That might solve the problem temporarily. Who's around here? Ah, uh, besides Paulette. Ah, right, roll call. Carter is back here working on... Uh, fence door. Edmund's working on a wind turbine. Rita is transporting. Moving bricks around. Rita, you can do some transporting in here. Let's turn off berries in this one. So right there, no more berries allowed in here. And let's see here, fruits like so. And then Rita, can you store undesired items? And I think that will take a bunch of berries and move them out to here. Which will be fine because we'll be, for the most part, in freezing temperatures soon. Maybe at least refrigerated, but yeah, it should be freezing for a lot of it. Okay. I think the unexpected uh, input of bug meat last time probably offset our balance, but we'll be turning that into fuel here soon. In fact, I'm tempted. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy perhaps two more. Yeah, I think we can still walk around in there. All right, two more. And Edmund, when you can, work on these guys next. And we'll get some foods moved back out of here pretty quickly. Edmund is constructing the wind turbine. And that means he's found a... Uh, I mean, Simon is working on electronics? No, Simon went and did a trip. That's right. That's right. So I, I had him do that. Um, animal attack. Okay. Well, boy, we got more, uh, more red meat coming. That's for sure. Um, so he's moving them into here unfortunately, instead of out over here. Well, we'll have to deal with that one later. What, what do we have? Well, you guys just kind of showed up out of nowhere, didn't you? It's amazing how that happens. And they're going to wander through here, and this is going to take care of them all on its own. So, except for somebody being outside, and Simon is now inside, we should be fine so long as they attack over here and don't just go through the fence. Um, specifically, they're exhibiting hostile behavior toward the camp and its inhabitants. All right, so give them a moment to figure out where they are, because they just kind of spawned in here, and they're a little... Uh, even the babies are going to attack us? Really? Uh, it's going to be one of those slow-motion attacks, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like being attacked by a great big herd of turtles. Okay, well, they're going to slow-mo do that. Otherwise... Edmund's inside. Simon is dropping off way too many berries. Okay, and he's putting these guys somewhere else. And ah, we're shooting this direction. Now that's a problem. See, now they're going to skip the gauntlet because they've been attacked over here. That does give us some trouble. And these guys are just going to go right through the fences. Ah. Okay. Who is out here? Carter, come on up here, draft, and give us a hand. And Paulette, Rita is busy. No, she's not. Okay. So, draft you. Need your, uh, your rifle as well. Edmund, you are actually right here. Draft, hop in. And Umiar, you are handling a shroom torch. That's you, right? Yeah. So once you hop in here as well, draft and go where? Actually, drop in right here. I think that'll be fine. But yeah, they're, they're doing some damage, all right. And I guess I could tell these guys to help out. And you just like drop into here and we're gonna have uh, barbecued uh, ribs here before long and right back over there okay missiles are coming boom boom okay yeah this is this is a slaughter that's for sure hmm. the rest are going around okay yeah can't even look at it but these guys are... I guess they're just going hunting. Yeah, we'll, we'll 
have to, I'll have to work it that way. Okay, we about done. Is the carnage over? The carnage is over. Ah, <sighs> undraft. You guys, go back to whatever you were doing. Boy, I hate to waste all this meat, but we just don't have room. So, do we... Ah, I just got the, the new exercise entertainment room done, but we really could turn this into a freezer. We are having food storage problems. And we're going to have less hands available to go get food later. So it does seem like an opportunity we'd be foolish to uh, to miss. Yeah. Mm. So if I were to deconstruct you, reconstruct you as now, I'm going to take you out and put a wall through there. If I'm going to put one of these in there. And these require what? They require a, an electronic and 10 of the alloy. We can do it. You guys are still 13 degrees in there. It's not as insulated. It's only going to be a refrigerator, not a freezer, but it would be helpful. All right. Carter, hop on it. Let's deconstruct. What if the wall will remain if we take the window out? It's possible. Carter is repairing. You're going to go immediately to deconstructing. we got to see if this is going to work. Otherwise, uh, this unfortunately goes back right where it came from. So move right back into here. We know it fits. And that chair, I guess, yeah, goes right back into Carter's room. So move you to there. And you live where? I guess right over there. So move like so. No, cannot do that one. We can do that though. Okay. And punching bag. We'll give everyone an equal opportunity to have their sleep disturbed. So you've got a shroom. Oh, well, they've all got shroom torches. Okay, so we'll go... Yeah, we'll go back over here with that one. Move. Like so. Okay. So I need somebody to be doing just that. Edmund Umiar, you are... What are you doing? You're punching a pole. Now you are going to move, 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 and move. And this is our last writing desk, isn't it? It could go in where the other uh, soldering desk was. So you can be moved to here. And we are, when you're done with that, you can move that one. And I guess the shroom torch really isn't needed inside of a freezer. Though I don't think there's a single spot left in any public space. Unless something can go there. It will. Okay. And then when you're done, you'll move that one. So you're going to charge of clearing out the room. Carter is going to be in charge of quickly building us a freezer. And Simon is going to quickly build the electronics needed to build the freezer. Okay. The white... Actually, that was a CPU. That's electronics. The freezer... No queued research. The freezer... Yeah, that's a CPU. Have one? We have 13 CPU cores. Great. It's electronics that we're hurting on. Alright, Paulette is... Actually, Paulette's been doing a lot of uh, relaxing lately. Now she's crafting. Because both stoves are busy? Because Rita has reserved that one. So you can boil some coffee. Yeah, you, you stick to what you do best. Alright. So lots of meat. I guess... I guess Edmund could start doing some butchering. You are good for 60 meat, 50 meat, and 40 meat. So... 13 Olfen. Mm. Alright, I guess we do it. Butcher you guys. I don't think we missed anybody. Alright, we'll set you for butcher. And we'll set Edmund for butchering. That's here. 
activities, Edmund, hunting. Where is hunting? Right there. Take you down to a one, you'll immediately drop into butchering. Though right now you're constructing a fence door. Um, I don't know how quickly... So Edmund, where are you going? You're going to work over here. Oh, I had set a few more doors in there. I didn't like the placement. Oh, the placement. Hello. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. I think we copy. Um, yeah. There you are. That's the only spot available. Let's take you out. And actually grab you again. Where'd you go? There. Copy. Drop you in right there. Okay. And I oh, I guess I gotta get you to do that first. So Edmund, first thing is this guy. Waiting for other construction. Okay, this could be difficult. If you don't go through. Maybe we'll try and do this when you guys are asleep. Because so I guess i got to tear this down. I don't think they can get through a single space. So I think this is still effectively blocked for him. But he's sure contemplating it. He is. Hmm, big opening. Not big enough. But it's open. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so Carter is constructing a fence door. Carter, did you do the, the thing? You did the thing. Okay. So you, I need to copy, drop you in there. And I think that signifies heat is going out. So we'll do that. And Carter, jump on this immediately. Construct that one. And so Edmund did get two more. Uh, or get the other windmill going. I need... Rita, what you doing? You are training. Let's kick your training down. Um, actually, I can just turn training off. So you'll just concentrate on petting and feeding. Okay. So can you instead make me some, some ore? Or uh, some alloy? I do need that going. And I think I missed one of those. Who knows which one. But I need enough to get two more of these built. I didn't want to set the blueprints in there. Again. Because I didn't want to have the last of our of our uh, um, alloy used up. Simon wouldn't have anything to be making these out of. So, oh, you take alloy too. You do. So Carter is taking it out of... That's the CPU core. Okay. So where do we have alloy just sitting around? I notice it's not over here anymore. Did you find enough? No. You are going where? Oh, it's in the furnaces. Okay, good. So Rita is handling furnace. She went somewhere first. She went back here to get some scrap. Oh, some ore. It's sitting out over here. Ah, I see. Okay. Meanwhile... Carter's going to probably pick all of them up. Yeah, he's going to go deliver everything. And that includes something out over here. Uh, no, I guess here to work on that. Okay, that's fine. All right, so this is... Are they sleeping? Well, they're not interested anymore. Edmund, you are butchering. That's right. Kind of need you here next, but... We'll see how quickly Carter gets this done. Okay, so Carter, you need bread really bad. So when you're done, eat bread. And then I need you to deconstruct. And then I need you to... Apparently I can't even set it until that is in. Until that's torn out. Okay. Otherwise, what's up? Paulette is still cooking. She's still cooking. Rita is doing the furnaces. Simon is making more of those guys and getting more. Good. No, he's getting... Yeah, that's silicon. Alright, Edmund is butchering. No, 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 no. I've... I wanted the meat. Okay, well, you transfer 
what you've got, though. You left that behind. Why'd you do that? Because you, you like walking back and forth. Okay. So maybe tomorrow we'll get Edmund to butcher the cattle. I, I forgot the bugs were queued up for butchering. Let's turn you off and you off. And you. So no more bugs are queued. Okay. All right. So Carter deconstructing. So we've got cold. All right. Oh, and we're cold 14. Okay. And we've got a vent. We've got a vent. There's no reason for this vent to merely be closed. It doesn't need to exist anymore. So let's deconstruct you. And Simon, are you capable of doing that? Yeah, why don't you go do that for me? I think that's three alloy, if I remember right. Uh, what are you? Scrap metal. Okay. But it left the wall, I assume. We'll never be able to see it. But with that, then, we should have been a sealed off room. And no real way to prove that. Or is there? Yeah. This doesn't show me airflow. So I assume it's sealed off. Now whether we maintain 14. We are getting down to 14, though. I mean, that's more impressive than I was expecting. So let's pause here for a little bit and think about shelving. How do we get the very most in? Well, we get the most in by building a bunch of these, but that's expensive. But these hold more than the equivalent shelf unit. Uh, fridge. Oh, I'm over here. That's why I don't have this anymore. Okay, copy. So you take just a whole bunch of alloy. Don't even take electronics. But alloy is actually kind of rare at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, so wooden shelves. Copy you. I think you've got a pretty diverse set of settings built into you, so I'll, I'll do that. Copy. Not you. That one. Okay, well that freaked everything out. Um, if I want to cross, good, it rotates for me. Um, we have a light problem. Okay. Let's take the light and move it to here. And Simon, you're the closest one. Let's get that done. Move ceiling light for me. Yeah, I know, I'm going to get annoying, but uh, I, hopefully that's in the right place. Okay. So with that, you copy from here to here. And I assume copy from... Ah. Uh, okay, so we can't do that. So if we want here, here, and here. Yeah, we may have to. Let's think that through. If we put an aisle there... We could get a row here, there, but only two there. If we didn't do this one here, is there another way? We lose this corner, that's a problem. So the aisles either got to be here or here or both. I think it's here. I think it's like so. And then here. And then here. As compared, so that's one, two, three. So there's there's nine. Or I could do one, two, three, four, five. I think it's six there. But then I I only have two spaces, so I can't do anything else. So I think that's all we're gonna get out of it. I believe so. Okay. So Carter. Oops. Yeah, Carter, where you at? You are drinking coffee, then you need to... Unless Edmund's nearby. No, he's racing off that way. So, Carter, how close is your coffee? Oh, good. You're done. Can you quickly go seal us up? Construct this puppy. Thank you. You are off to get three wood sitting over there. Yeah, Mr. Olfen, he's, he's not too smart, but... He's he's really putting a lot of brain power into this. He knows something's up over here. Can't Umiar.
can you pet this orphan instead? You kind of keep him preoccupied, okay? Yeah, just... There you go. Thank you. Just keep him over there for me. Perfect. Now, this fence... I wonder if this fence should be here and give them more room. What are these? Oh, those are extra logs. Okay. So, Carter's... Yeah. Get that thing built as soon as you can. You're thinking about it. Three more. What's it take? It takes ten. And you're really unloading this up three at a time, aren't you? Yeah. Please pick up more than just that one. Ah, there you go. Lumiere's going to sleep. They're going to sleep. Perfect. So, we have 14 degrees. We have another freezer. Wasn't meant to be, but... Yeah, I think that was the wisest move for what we're facing. Let's not throw food away if we can avoid it. Though the Pankoffs and Bone Crushers are going to have fun out here tonight. Yeah, there they are. Although they're still working on bugs. Good, you guys just gulp down that bug meat. Man, they're ugly. Walk around on their 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 elbows like that, kind of creepy. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Well, everyone's asleep now. Rita's up doing something. She is still handling a furnace, but it's her last one. Then she'll be heading to bed. Good. And someone's just tossed some alloy in the ground. And you're gonna grab something to eat. Good. So everyone else is out. What else is there to be doing? I guess. Yeah, I just plan on getting that done than any other repairs. I expect we're going to get a message any time now from another spaceship. Though there's a chance that it's just going to be a supply drop and not a uh, not a an offer to rescue somebody. So how long it's actually going to take to get seven successful um, survivor rescues off, I don't know. Will that, be, will that all be done this winter, or will we be into the planting season, or, or just what? So I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out. Well, Edmund just woke up. He's grabbing some, uh, was that pumpkin pie? The, uh, where is that symbol at? Buttermelon pie, I think. He's heading to here. Buttermelon pie. So, Edmund, when you're done, your job... Yeah, I think you're just going to be working on these until uh, until that is done. Now, I didn't really even get a chance to see Umiar, but he did a good job of clearing this out. Didn't complain or anything. Yeah, that's good. I didn't have to reinstate all those orders five times to get it finished. Edmund is grabbing all of the all this wood all through here, especially right there. Good. In fact, there's probably enough wood there to kind of do the whole thing, isn't it? I assume that's enough. Okay. Uh, Carter's sleeping. Who is that? Simon is crafting some more. Are we ahead yet? We have one, of, one to the good. Let's get these guys set. Um... Copy. <clears throat> Any better place? Let's go closer to the fence line. Hmm. Any reason not to? Just wonder if we want to ever expand this back into this area a little bit. Now that they have a place to run to, maybe they could use this area. Let's go over here with it. Just in case that becomes a thing. So these rotate on their own, right? I think they do, but I'll set them in like that. So you and you. These guys are all coming in. Uh, anybody bugging our beef? Nope. So what are you? <laughs> you looked a little different. I didn't think that's what that was. That almost looks like an upside down bumblebee. Huh. Anyway, so Edmund and Carter could deal 
Oh, 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 oh. Close. All right, who's up? Simon is assembling. Carter is sitting. Carter, you left the gate open, dude. Can you please go and close that for me? Thank you. Uh, luckily, the, the beasts are eating right now. So, she is pregnant. Um, health? No sense of a timing. Okay. It'll happen two attacks from now, right in the middle of the attack, right? <laughs> Alright, so Umayar is handling furnaces. Good. Um, is that finally enough alloy? Actually, we don't need that much more brick. So maybe the way we're doing it right now would be wise. Okay. So Simon, you are transporting. Okay, dropping off goods. So transport must still be up there in your list of to-dos. Kind of high on the list. Otherwise, you're playing darts. Um, on your way, can you haul this ore? And then go play darts? So what do you need? We turned you off... Ah, uh, because we need all of those, yeah, all those electronics. So let's get these guys built first. And then electronic-wise, I think we're good, unless we want to put in any more uh, of these guys. I don't know if we can handle the power load, but if I did want to do that, would it let me? It will let me drop one in here. I don't think, yeah, I can't go there without moving that, but I can do this. So that's something to consider. The other thing to consider is this. How do we keep this from repeating? I thought about putting in these guys instead. Why does it show it so short? I thought that was a taller fence. Interesting. So, defense... Why is there no concrete fencing in here? Are they a different uh, label? Are they fortifications? That's what I'm thinking of. So I can't just rebuild you. I have to replace you completely. But if I did this, it won't really help. They can still shoot over the top. Okay. So I'd almost have to put it here. Which wouldn't be that bad. Now, it won't just let me do that, huh? Click. No, I'm going to have to tear it all out. Uh, new resource, an EM umbrella. Paulette has been not cooking again. Do I need to get a third cook stove just to keep you cooking? Okay, so Paulette, no more. Come on over here. And... Yeah, why don't you make... Um, what would be... Chef steak. Let's clear out some of the um, of the beef that's already in here. And I need Edmund to transporting what? Let's get you back into into butchering. Reserved by Edmund already. Okay. So Edmund, what are you transporting? You're transporting hides. Let's skip that and just butcher. And then butcher, and then butcher, and butcher. And when you're done, how about well, how about you eat first? <laughs> I didn't notice that. Uh, come on over and grab a meat pie if it exists. I don't see any in here. All the meals are gone there. There is this guy, but Edmund liked... Actually, he liked buttermelon pie. Okay, you already have one of those for breakfast, though. How's he doing? He's in great shape. He can eat anything. In that case, Edmund, just grab some dried meat. Then, come back here and spend the rest of your day butchering. So, doing those. Those. That one. And all of these. So, we got them all? Yeah, no individual. Oh, there's one that popped up on its own. Okay. So that will take care of that, and all that meat should get transported in soon. Umiar is hauling a bunch more 
alloy around because we got another round out of the furnace and still have some extra. Good. Now you are going to take 20. You've already got it. So now it's just a matter of the five cards or uh, circuit boards. And Simon is finishing, I believe, the one that we need for this guy. Electronics. Now there's already one in stock. So I could have Carter go and do that. Constructing a wooden fence. So fences must be a higher priority, or doors, you know, gates, than everything else. It superseded what was already been here on the uh, to-do list. But you do that, Carter, and then you come out and do this. Get those built. Get our batteries up. Get our fuel situation stabilized. Fuel is now down into the 200s. And these guys are still doing their fermenting, so let's not... Uh, Something I can speed up. Carter, Rita's helping cooking. Paulette's helping cooking. Simon's almost done with that one. He's got to do five more of them. Or four more after this. To, I believe, make us even. Once these guys are up and going, I can turn this back on again. And they'll be storing them in there, I assume. Um, Umiar, you are handling furnaces. Which means more alloy, right? That is ore. So I need someone to make a run soon. So we get more ore up there. Right, let's just check out, see what's up here. Mining outpost is still here. I could shut this down to kill the banner, but I'd have to have somebody come up here to actually do it, I believe. Uh, banner is where? There you are. I can't just di disable you, can I? Assign people and rename. And I can deconstruct, which means someone's going to run up here to do it. But we've got 50 still up here. Uh, oh, we got more over here. So there's another 200. So 250. That's a two-person trip. Carter was bringing 180, I think, on his own. and He's the strongest. Done and done. So maybe next episode... Depending on how the attacks come in. I might send him off to do that. But until then, how are we on repairs? Let's get all the repairs marked. You guys, no, no repairs are needed. Okay, anything hit over here? Uh, repair something over here too. So all of these took some damage. Okay. Of all of you, there's more repairs to make. Something over here. So these are from the bug attack. Ah, so more of these didn't get done. Well, I'll trigger them as repairs. Just make sure everything is going to get by. All right, one more. All right, we're good there. Um, gates. All the gates in here. Nope. And in here, ship detected. No repairs. Alright, so that means... Oh, oh, I didn't see this last time. Look at that. So we triangulated in on a ship. And we have until that goes down. No other descriptions. Okay. But well, we have till that goes down. If I don't want this to happen in the middle of the night, but I guess it's probably not much of a choice. Okay, so in that case, Rita is eating. Before you do, come on over here and say hi. Let's see what's coming in. There goes the generators again. Because these guys, oh, they're doing 23 out of 40 each. That's better than normal. Uh, Edmund, how are you doing? You're still in pretty good shape. Okay, Rita, you're there? You're there. What do we get? All right, this one looks like supplies. The passing by spaceship is an elite military vessel on a mission. It's a wonder that they even responded. They don't have time to take any passengers on board, but are offering to send some firepower. Ooh. Okay. Um, there truly is no need for anything, but 
I will take a real gun sniper, thank you very much. What's the advantage to not taking anything? Why would that be an offer? Just to not bother and just move on to the next one? Possibly. Okay, well we'll take the sniper. I don't see the need for another pulse rifle. That's right, pulse rifle. Animal flu. When Kana took off last time as I was editing, I noticed something flew out and landed on the ground. And then it was gone. I didn't get to see what it was. As far as I know, we dropped her weapon. She... I don't know what it was she had. It was in this room here. So... There's a real gun sniper in there. Maybe somebody's put it away. The spear. It might have been the spear. Okay. So we have a spear available. No, somebody made a spear recently, though. Hmm. Who could use a spear? Carter could. Carter is a little busy. Okay. Um, what do we desperately need Carter to do before we call this episode done? Um, these repairs are not critical. Neither are these, and I did... Yeah, I need to start thinking about that, uh... About that wall, that... Oh, actually... Let me see here. Defense. Fortification. Okay, you. So, it is just ten carbon nanotubes per. And it would... It would keep them from busting through if these guys trigger anyone. We'd have to do there, 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 and probably the first little bit over here. Yeah, that's a lot to have uh, down. Hmm, how to do that? Well, maybe next episode we'll, maybe during, in between episodes I kind of think about that and get it set up and initiated. Okay. Carter. You could use that spear. Anybody else in here? Rita is assembling or eating. That's right. <laughs> Poor Rita. Um, Rita, do you have a spear? You don't. And you're actually hurting on the other ones, too. So, I wonder if losing integrity loses its punch or its accuracy. I don't get the sense that it does, but... Hmm. Rita, why don't you go and equip this spear, and then you can go get whatever meal it was you were so desperately wanting. Rita enjoys meat pies, and is there one available? I'm not seeing anything. Let's try in here. Eat chef steak. Cook meat pie. Well, you can eat chef's steak while Paulette is healing Prince, and then she's going to make you some meat pie. Okay, that's her plan. But she's going to go take care of Prince right now, who's, who's feeling a little under the weather. He's got the flu. So, Carter, you instead are doing fence repairs. But when you're done with that, how about you get these guys assembled? All right, you do that. And Umiar, it is time for you. Carter's fine. Umiar needs some food. Where is he right now? You're handling a furnace. You're walking over here, but I assume it's that one. And that looks like... Looks like sticks. So you're loading a furnace. Okay. So once you've done that, I'll have to override your orders here. Okay. You grab some bread, and then you come out here and do these before you go to bed. Ferment, ferment, and ferment. And that will alleviate our, our uh, freezer space in here as well. These got mostly built, enough to where we can start uh, putting things in and Looks like meat's already on its way in. Good. Um, Edmund is still out here. How did you... Yeah, you're going to be hungry soon. Why don't you call this one done and haul in 
as much meat as you can. All right, bring in the meat and then grab some food, go to bed, and next episode we will get you going at it again. It's quite a meat, bit of meat on the ground there. Let's see uh, how much you can handle. I'm thinking it's a lot more than something like ore. Berries, you're like a 220. Oh, you're into the threes. 340 is where you're at now. Okay, good. Uh, who else can haul some of that meat in? Lumayar, Paulette is making that pie I asked her to. Simon is eating. And sure. Why don't you rush out here and grab something else. Grab the rest of this. Actually, not a lot left behind, but may as well not let the uh, bone crushers have it. Yeah, so we're down to these guys left. Though they seem to be working on the older um, kills first, older corpses. Rita is transporting. So everybody has got to stay busy through all of this. They really do. Rita's transporting Y. Oh, because these are here, and we said not to put them here anymore. I guess we can ignore that order now that we have space. So turn fruit back on. Okay, we'll stop that. Though I would say no more meat in here, so we got room for meals. Let's do that. So meat, no more dried meat. And Rita, let's make room for meals. Um, store undesired items. So put the dried meat somewhere else. And Paula can, or Rita can be putting the meals in here from now on. Let's do that again. Okay, clear us some space in this one. Alrighty, Prince is going to bed. Simon's bringing in that meat. Simon is probably getting pretty tired. Paulette's relaxing. Edmund's butchering. Oh, he's going back up for another round. Okay. You go for it. And I'd almost say, let's just forbid the hides. We don't need it. We don't need to try to store it. Okay, now I can see all the X's. Yeah, they, they weren't showing up here. Okay, so that'll that'll save them the time of having to deal with that. So we're going to leave this running again. And we are kind of keeping up now. Last time we couldn't. This went down to zero. Now we can at least maintain, but it is going to cost us a fortune to do it. Especially with all these generators running. Alright, so Umayar, when you're done with that... I think you can pull off a little bit more. So do these two as well. Let's really get the uh, fuel production up and going. Okay, so Carter is just doing some random constructing. Paulette's eating. I would imagine she's off to bed now. It's one in the morning. Yeah, she's going to sleep. Edmund just was just joking. He wasn't really going to go do any butchering. <laughs> He'll be going to bed soon. And we are as well. Simon and Paulette already are. And there's Carter. Off to get some food. Okay. So I think we're wrapping this this day up and this episode up. Next time, I would imagine we've got an attack coming in. But we'll see. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.